to show the liars that they are liars. But you know what the question is, why they lie? I mean, if somebody is proud about his prophet, why he need to lie? If somebody have faith in his religion, why he need to lie about it? Obviously, those who make lies about their prophet, they don't believe in him. Otherwise, they will not lie. Not only that, actually, Muhammad himself, he said to them, that the one who lie about me, of you, speaking to the Muhammadan for sure, Allah will make him sit in a chair made of fire. Yet still they lie. Now, uh, I don't know if you saw the video of uh, an ex-Muslim, he sent it to me, you can download it there. We can see it in Patreon, to his channel. He had a video of uh, this uh, uh, boy. First in the video, uh, a Christian woman, she was, you know, obviously she is not educated. So she said to him, uh, <laughs> Jesus is a... Uh, uh, is Aramaic, right? The word Jesus. He said, yes. <laughs> expert. Expert in Aramaic. <laughs> he reminded me of Mimi Hijab when he said, Elijah, mean God with us. <laughs> yes, 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 he agreed. <laughs> Jesus in English or Latin, it is Aramaic. <laughs> but that was a good one. But you know, I'm not going to judge him by his stupidity and ignorance about Aramaic. Uh, but what about a person he claimed? And he repeat that in the video. And he was speaking to somebody. He called him Christian Prince Fan. He said that the prophet, he freed her and honored her to marry her. He what? He freed her and honored her to marry her. Like, what the heck? He freed her and honor her to marry her which means he freed her first he honored her first and he many married her last and you know we keep asking for reference you know remember this guy this this i don't want to call him guy this boy uh he keep anything we show him he say it's daif it's daif <laughs> it's, it's daif <laughs> It says there Sahih, it's Daif. It says there Hassan, it's Daif. Now, as long he loved to play the game of Daif and strong, I have a challenge for this Abdul. Can he show us the strong reference that he's a prophet, he married this woman? Is that fair, Muslims? Is that fair? We are not asking for much. He claimed that he's a prophet, he freed her, he honored her to marry her. So he freed her first, he honored her second, or the purpose of freeing her is to honor her. And he married her. Okay. But you know, the, the question was, your prophet having sex with the slave who is not lawful for him. Because in the Quran it says that it's lawful for you your right hand possess, which is the women you capture from war. And if you search in the Quran, you will find that all over the place. If we type the word Malikatul Yameen, or Malikatul Yameen, <coughs> we will find a huge number of verses is speaking about uh, women you own and all of them they are coming from war and you can read any uh, translation you know of uh, uh, of this uh, uh, Quran women who you possess and actually, even in the Muslim translation, it says there, 
captive do you see it captive your right hand possess between two bracket captive this is the Muslim website this is not my website this is not my translation I don't agree with any Islamic translation even if the even the one who is saying something let us say truthful because uh, you know one verse is a truthful the rest are not one line is truthful the rest is not so here you see that even Muslim they agree that Muhammad was allowed to have to rape women who they are captive even if they are married and they have husband and Muhammad he have he knew their husband even if they are his cousins so he captured them he can rape them so Muhammad have no right to have sex with this woman Mary the Copt who she was a gift and the king who sent him the gift of two slaves he sent with her or with them 1000 case of gold remember the Muslim they say Muhammad was a very poor person I mean look you see how poor he is 1000 case of gold very poor but the problem here why this guy is lying or this kid because it's very embarrassing Muhammad never get a license to have sex with a slave she is not from war all the Quran when the Quran mention your right hand possess it is about the captives of war and you can read any interpretation you want of Muslims not us you know don't take our words for granted Take what the Muslims say about this. You will see all of them, they agree that this is about the captive of war. It's lawful for Muhammad, you know, and lawful for the Muslims only to have sex with women who they are their slaves from war. But Mary, she is not a slave from war. She was a gift. And as you receive gift in Christmas, Muhammad, you receive gift a human. And the Muslim, the funny, they say to you that the Prophet, he did, you know, he's against slavery. But the guy, he have slaves everywhere. All his houses have slaves to serve his wives. All his houses. But look what happened here. By denying that Muhammad he was having sex with her in order to save the honor of Muhammad, he got Muhammad again busted. I wanted to show proves not a speech and I want to ask the Muslims who they are listening I will put in the screen the official government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and this is the house of Mufti this is the religion the, the Ministry of Islam and this is the office of the Mufti the Mufti in Saudi Arabia is the highest person in the kingdom for sure after the king he is the one who sign your execution which means if a judge he decide to execute you he cannot execute you unless he got a signature of this person who is in charge of this office which means he is the highest authority in Saudi Arabia which make him the highest authority in the world when it's come to the yellow pages of Muhammad and here is the question in front of your eyes and I'm just going to use Google translation and by the way, the link is in the info of this video in case. But we will post it for you. Let me post the link for you. So you can do the same as I'm doing. If you look at the link, it says Al Ifta. Al Ifta, which means the house of Ifta, the house of the holy orders. And in the top, it says the following. Let me show you. Let me zoom in in the link, in the top of the link. It says Al Ifta Government dot SA. Do you see it? So, if there is any question about how legitimate this website, if there's any Muslim here who think this is a fake website, Al Ifta dot gov dot SA, Saudi Arabia. Do those people have a reason to lie? Which one we are going to take for granted? A Bachabazi or official Islamic government scholarship website? Which one of them Muslims should listen to? 
those are the one who they are in charge of the Kaaba if they lie well we just showed you Muhammad said that the one who made a lie about me let him sit in the top of a chair made of fire in hell so they have no reason to lie so what we will do in front of your eyes we are going to use Google translation because this is the only way and you can do the same I just posted the link you can click and translate to English as you see in the top let us zoom in the top most the question the holy most so you see they are the one in charge it says here Jami al Khadamin al Khadim al Harimain Sharifain so this is the most of the Kaaba this is the, the, literally the Kaaba purified uh, uh, Sunnah they are in charge of it and this is the number of the fatwa as you see there's a number for the question and there's a date the question is let us zoom out so you guys can maybe able to read with us <coughs> Uh, question number 11 the number of the wives which mean the wives of Muhammad so this is this page is about how many wives Muhammad he have which is not really important for us for now because the topic is that Muhammad had a wife her name is Mary the court if we go down a little bit we will see that it says that Mary she was just a woman for fun Maria the concubine and he did not marry her do you see it why the Muslims if we can call those people Muslims why they are lying about what their Prophet did what is the problem exactly why they need to lie about it simply the one who did lie he is seeing it as something embarrassing They are saying she is the mother of his son Ibrahim, which is very funny because Muhammad he cannot have sex, and he cannot have children. This is why he exaggerate with his uh, stories of sexual power. But Muhammad himself he said, "I was the most weak person between all mankind," and then I invoke Allah, which means he is known to be a person who cannot have sex. This is why Muhammad actually, when he was married to Khadija, he could not have any children from her. Even the Muslims they say that he have uh, at least Fatima from her, but all of us we knew this can't be true, and this is why Muhammad, in the time of his marriage to Khadija, Khadija she gave up, so she adopted a son. His name is Zaid, and later Muhammad. He forbidden adoption so he can have the wife of his own son by adoption wife. A man who can have sex normally and he can have a children and he's an Arab. Why he want to adopt a son, a boy? Because simply he, he is not able. I remember Muhammad have all those women. Okay, all these women she gave him a boy. A boy. And later we find a story that she was she was accused this woman who is a slave sleeping around including her cousin and then he sent Omar al-Khattab to check on him he found that he have no penis which is very funny because it looked like only this guy in the town he have a penis but as you see the Saudi website the official government website it says can it biha sariyatahu maria which mean she is a slave for fun the slave does not do anything except sex you don't cook you don't clean you don't wash she is a saria she is a woman for fun for sex for she was very white 
She was tall, with a very unique skin of whitening, as the hadiths confirm. And all the wives of Muhammad, they were very jealous from her. This is why Muhammad, he chose for her a location far from their houses. So as you see here, the fatwa, the highest Islamic religion website, saying he did not marry her. So why those people, they lie? What about we go and see some more official website, like ones from Qatar or from Emirat? Al-Fatwa, library Islam, library dot Islam dot or Islam web dot com. Fatwa number one, two, six, six, eight. The question, was she Mary? one of his wives the answer no which means he if her for he own her and when she gave birth she became a mother of a boy but still she is his slave the liar he said he freed her to honor her to marry her Translation, reference, question, and the number. Maria the Coptic, may God be blessed with her. This is the topic, is about her. Look what they say about Maria the Coptic. She was a woman slave and he did not marry her she was sent by the ruler of egypt at that time supposedly his name is al muqawqas and he was in alexandria and muhammad he accepted the gift and she was see translation here is not perfect she was his right hand possess when she gave birth the translation is coming funny she gave birth to Abraham so she became the mother of the son maybe this one is not enough let us see something else fatwa number one uh, five 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 I don't know how many five here there's too many five Questions about Mary the Copt. Question, was Mary the Copt of the mother of the believers, which means she was one of the women, the chickens of Muhammad? Which she is not allowed to marry after him because Muhammad he is very, very sick person. He forbid his wives to sleep with anyone after him because he owned them forever. He is sick. And if you ask the Muslims, is it good for the women to marry after her husband died? They will say yes, absolutely, because that will you know prevent fitna, brother, the temptation, brother. Okay, but in this in the case of Muhammad, nobody dared to open his mouth. So the question was she one of the mother of the believers? The answer again, no. Absolutely not. In the Maria al laysat min ummahat al mu'minin. Mary the cook, she is not one of the mothers of the believers, which means she is not the wife of Muhammad. Translate to English. And they are giving you the reference, by the way. This is not just a statement. The Coptic Maria is not one of the mothers of the believers, so she is not a wife for Muhammad. And here they are giving you all the authentic reference supporting the statement they are talking about why do I lie is that enough no islamweb.net what is the reason the prophet did not marry from Mary this is the question what is the reason he did not marry from Mary now they are not asking they are talking about why Muhammad did not marry Mary the Copt.
because is it supposedly Islam is against slavery? So this is the fatwa number one eight six three four seven, as you see in the screen for those who speak Arabic. And this is the question, and this is the answer. He used to have sex with her without marrying her. Not only that, they say that marriage from a slave is forbidden in Islam. Marriage from a slave is forbidden, which means if you want to marry a woman, well, she can't be your slave. She has to be free. But for sure, she has to be a believer too. If we click to translate to English, they confirm again the same, same thing. Uh, the page could not be translated. Why? Let's try again. All right, now it's working. Read the title. The reason why the Prophet, may Allah shower him, pray on him, did not marry Mary the Cop. This is the title number name so what does that mean he did not marry her and they are down they com they confirm why he did not marry her because he cannot marry a slave and not only that the woman she is asking the question obviously she's a woman she said isn't it Islam forbid slavery he said not true Islam did not forbid slavery it is not true that Islam forbid slavery but rather encourage man slaughter and open door if it's the door <laughs> translation here is funny so what, what it says in arabic that islam is against nobody nobody can say that islam forbids slavery this is a lie but they are trying to say but islam encourage you to free a slave but did muhammad free the slave married the cop he was having sex with her all those years and then there's a da'if hadith says, when she gave birth to Ibrahim, Muhammad, he freed her. But this is da'if. Remember those people, they have a sickness with da'if. Anytime we show them something, they say da'if. Like what? Da'if. So uh, da'if. So we can, uh, no da'if, we don't accept it. And this da'if, by the way, is going to cause more problem. If the Muslim want to support their claim by it, because it says he have a child from her and she is not a free yet and did not say anywhere that he married her. Let me see what I can find the hadith. I'm just quoting from my head. And I better uh, find the reference. You know them. We show them in the screen, still they say it's a lie. I mean, it doesn't matter how much we show them. It's a lie. Brother, are you sure it's a lie? Yes, brother, it's a lie. Blood, brother, but he is showing you in the screen, brother. It's a lie. Well, it is in our website, brother. It's an Islamic website, brother. It's a lie. Does, don't even try. It's a lie. It doesn't matter what you say. So let us see uh, what uh, uh, where we can find the reference. Here we go. We found the reference, which is again proving this Bachia Bazi boy to be a liar. Because as you see, even if she was afraid, this is after she gave birth to a baby, supposedly this is his own. 
in his video he said the prophet he freed her to honor her to marry her and he report, repeated that a few times so even this hadith let us say for the sake of argument this is sahih hadith actually i believe it's a sahih but you see the muslims they they, they have a habit of uh, the eve thing uh, the eve by the way the eve does not mean is reject, rejected but this this boy he always anything he don't like he said Aif and he throw it away so he can get away from it it's the, the the easiest way to escape but even this one because remember Ibn Majah is a Sahih book so how Sahih book and the hate is Daif secondly as long this is a Daif that's mean if this boy don't accept it where is the reference that he freed her first and or her second and then he married her before he have a child nowhere to be found that's a big fat lie and as we are showing you, all reference saying the opposite. Let us go to more reference. <clears throat> this is the hadith about Muhammad having sex with this woman. It was narrated from Anas. Some people do not know how to write, read his name. It is Anas, not As. The messenger of Allah had a female slave with whom he had intercourse. But Aisha and Hafsa would not leave him alone until he said she was forbidden to him. And then they quote for you the verse from the chapter of at tahrim Chapter 66, verse number 1 and 2. O Prophet, why you forbid why do you forbid yourself which Allah he has allowed you? To the end of the verse, you see it? So this verse is speaking about Muhammad sleeping with his slave and this is Mary the cook. Does it say here a female slave or it says a wife? You see, if you have a wife and you are sleeping with her, you cannot say, I mean, he is supposed to be a prophet. You cannot say, I forbid myself from sleeping with you. Well, you divorce her then. She is a female slave and she is married a cop. And as you see, this is Sahih. What this Abdul will say? I don't accept it. This is Daif. So we showed you fatwa. We showed you Islamic website answers. What else? What we should do more? Not enough. This is a chapter 66. Verse number two, Ibn Kathir. And here, by the way, I want to show you something very funny. Like, can you believe it that Ibn Kathir in English have nothing to do with Ibn Kathir in Arabic? All the story here about Mary is not in the English translation. All the story, imagine. Imagine how they are deceiving people. Why in the world somebody translating the book of Ibn Kathir why he skip four or five pages in explanation of a chapter because it's an embarrassment if we go right now actually i can now you know uh, we can open this one in google and google translation and we can translate and you will see how in a second we get them busted shall we do that Here we go. For those who do not know, this is the official government of the Kingdom of Jordan. And the King of Jordan, he is the one who owned this website. And he claimed that he is descendant from Muhammad, which is actually true. He is descendant from, you know, sleeping around. But not from him, really. Because I believe Muhammad, uh, you know, is not the one. I mean, uh, let us say uh, they are descendant from the women, some of the women's of Muhammad but have nothing to do with, with those women have nothing to do with Muhammad but he claimed that he is descended from Muhammad so by birth they belong to Muhammad this is explain why they are very corrupt you know they are the king of of, of Jordan he is a he is a CIA member when uh, when Al-Qaeda they explode themselves in a base of ISIS of, of CIA 
the prince, the brother of the king, he was in the office. And you tell me what he's doing there in the CIA office. He's, a, he's their agent. This is why they sponsor him. This is why Israel protect them. However, this is at the end of the day. This is the book of Ibn Kathir. And we cannot say Ibn Kathir is a CIA agent, right? And this is Ibn Kathir in Arabic, which is totally different from Ibn Kathir in English. You can open Ibn Kathir in English now, and you will not see this story there. We click. It says here, uh, لا تخبري أحد وإن أم إبراهيم علي حرام. So Hafsa, she came to the house. She found Muhammad doing boom boom to the slave girl in her bed. He promised her if she don't tell anyone about his scandal, because obviously it's a shameful behavior. He promised her she is forbidden for me. I will never do it. This is why the, the chapter says, why well, you forbid yourself what is made lawful for you. And this is what the hadith we just showed you was saying. And this is Sahih. Let us translate, Google translation, Google peace be upon him. See? So he was sleeping with her and he told Hafsa, she is forbidden for me what he was doing with this woman. She is his slave. She is the mother of Ibrahim. But she is not his wife. When people, they have no shame. They do as they wish. The same thing can be proven if we switch to English. This is the book of Asbab al Nuzul, the same website. And the book of Asbab al Nuzul means the reason for the verses to come down. So those with this book explain what happened, what is what is the in the backyard. So when she is your slave girl, he swore. When, I, when his wife, she came to the house. Let me highlight for you so you can read with me. And the good thing in this page here, we do not need to translate because this is translated already in English and we do not really need to translate anything here. Well, for some reason, my mouse is not functioning. I hold on. Well, what happened? I'm trying to open the link, I mean to give you the link. But anyway, as long as we have it in the front of us here now, if you read with me here, it says, so when Hafsa she came and she found Muhammad with the mother of his son, Maria, when Hafsa she found him in her bed, in her house, imagine how filthy, he sent Hafsa to the house of her father. He told her, don't you wanna go and visit your father? Go, go, go visit your father. So she go to her father's house. Then she felt there is something fishy. Why he's insisting? What's up? So when she came early, she entered the house. And she found him along with the mother of his son. You see, they don't say his wife. They say the mother of his son, Maria. And then she said to him, why did you bring her in my house? You did this to me? To the exception of all your wives? Which means from all the wives you have, you could decide not to insult except me by bringing the slave? Only because I am too insufficient for you? He said to her, look at the coward. Look at the coward. Do not mention this to Aisha. <laughs> don't, just don't tell Aisha, okay? She will burn the house on me. <laughs> you know, and then he said, she is forbidden for me, i.e. Maria, if I ever touch her. He is forbidden whom? 
it is forbidden the slave. Why they lie? Is that their website? Is that what it says? Why they love to lie? What is the purpose? What is behind their lies? In verse number two, Allah, he sent him a verse saying to him, don't worry about the oath you take, okay? Just to break a zucchini. Can you believe it? It's in the front of you. Allah, he sent him a verse saying, oh, you know what? You don't have to keep your oath because he took an oath. He swear. He said, by Allah, I swear. So your oath of forbidding yourself from sexual relationship with the handmaid is not valid no more. Do you see the word handmaid? They make her a wife just to protect their prophet from being exposed with his filth. This is Tafsir al-Jalalain. The handmaid Maria. Do you see it? Why you forbid yourself, your handmaid? Made that unlawful for you. The Coptic handmaid Maria. Do you, anyone see the word wife? I mean, how many books until now we showed? But it's not enough. It doesn't matter how many reference and proofs you show a Abdul, he will say it is a goat even if she fly. <laughs> 